Hey guys, I've been sitting here in front of my camera for maybe about an hour trying to literally work up the energy to do this. Um, I went, I got up really early today and I went to a spin class because I used to do spin a lot and I lost, like, I accidentally lost a lot of weight doing spin. It wasn't even, like, intentional. Um, I was just doing it because I was in grad school and it was, like, a stress reliever. <clears throat> and I don't have that energy anymore. Uh, but anyways, I took an hour nap. I'm still tired. <sighs> Let's just get into it, right? So, I'm gonna be doing a psychic reading on Cardi B and... What's this guy's name? Hold on. Penn Badgley. Okay, so if you guys are unfamiliar, Penn Badgley was in Gossip Girl. Gossip Girl is literally like the best show ever created. Um, like aside from like Grey's Anatomy, but Gossip Girl is really good, guys. You guys have to watch it. Um, so how about we start with Joe? Because Joe is showing me that he has telepathic abilities And it's very strange because it's not coming through as evil or, you know what the vibe I'm getting is? He's kind of like Elon Musk. Like, he has this connection to the moon. He has like the beings of the moon that stay with him. I don't know if he, you know, is um, a descendant from uh, spirits of the moon, uh, but there are spirits of the moon that are around him. It's always kind of complicated when somebody is telepathic to do these readings because obviously they can control what I see and they can, I don't want to say block stuff out, but they'll try and distract me or, you know, it'll just be kind of distracting, I guess. Because it's like he's active, I could just, it's... It's happening in the now, I guess. I don't know. It's hard to explain. But when people are telepathic, it's hard to read them. Um, they usually want to connect with me. And, uh, you know, there's a level of protection on them. And sometimes it doesn't even have to be that there's a level of, of protection on them. It's just they just want to talk or they want to exchange energy with me. I, <laughs> he has a fascination with space, and I'm talking about Penn Badgley. He has some type of fascination with space. I think, I'm, I think he has like, they're showing me a lot of books. Uh, he reads about space a lot. He, he has this like telescope in his house. So we know that the moon is a very feminine, the moon has a very feminine energy. <coughs> and before anybody jumps down my throat, no, I don't think he's gay, but he does have a feminine side of him. Um, I'm getting like a Gemini, uh, sun, moon, or rising. I don't know what his zodiac sign is, you guys can comment below. But he is very intuitive. Um, since I see a lot of moon energy around him, he could have cancer placements or Scorpio placements um, in his chart. I know Scorpio was not ruled by the moon, but the moon, a lot of water. Um, I'm also seeing visions of him as a child. Like, I feel like he was kind of pushed around as a child. This is coming through uh, the way he was in school. He was very isolated. 
he has like an interest in occult practices. I don't know if he works with the spirits of the moon. Again, like I'm not seeing that this is like evil or um, I'm not even seeing if this is light. I think it's just it just is what it is. I wouldn't be surprised if he was um, working with seals uh, and sigils to connect with the spirits of the moon. <coughs> Even though he's there and he goes out to places, he's very spacey. I feel like he's he's always in his head. And that's usually what you see with a lot of intuitive people. Not all intuitive people, but a lot of intuitive people. <clears throat> They're usually just very much in their own little world. Uh, I'm getting a big fascination with space. Let me just Google some of these things. Just to see if he's ever come out about any of this stuff before. I'm just Googling if he said anything about space, like, no, none of, <clears throat> none of this is, um, on, um, on the internet. And I don't think he's a secretive person, like, I don't think he would, um, I don't think he would hide any of this stuff. Like if somebody asked him and it was more normalized and he felt like it was um, okay to talk about it, I don't feel like he would uh, like hide it. The thing is like, I feel when people are interested in, you know, um, they're like star seeds or they're interested in spirituality, unless you're like, um, what's that guy's name? Spencer Pratt, who's just like a nut job. Um, and you have this whole identity issue and you base your whole identity off of how spiritual you are. Unless you're like that type of celebrity, because that type of celebrity is very accepted in Hollywood. But if you're just into like, not dark, not light, just, just moon magic or anything like that, I think it's very looked down upon because people just assume shit. So I, in, that, in that sense, like I feel like I understand why he would be kind of reluctant to speak about his hobbies or his interests in that way but that is what I'm seeing um I'm getting a feminine energy from him as well and I don't think he's gay like I said I just feel like he has a lot of feminine energy uh he's very sensitive like he doesn't like showing it but I do see that he just is very sensitive like he feels, he, he's very sensitive when people judge him. Okay, let me look at Cardi B. I feel like he kind of has a little bit of a crush on Cardi. I know he's married, but I kind of feel like he, and it's not like because she's so sexy or anything like that. I think it's more because um, she's like, I don't think the word is spunky, but like sh she's kind of like, I guess like she he sees like a quirky side in her or like something that's kind of, um, I don't know how to say dark, dorky. I don't think that's the right word, but just something that is like childlike about her. And he really likes that, like as a, maybe as a friend, but I do feel like he's kind of hiding a bit of a crush on her. Um, and she thinks that he's funny as well. But I, I'm getting more like these two are just friends, like they just enjoy They enjoy talking to each other. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. My guides are telling me now that... The <laughs> I think that these two have had a past life together as starseeds. And I think that's why they connect. Yeah. 
I think that there's like um and I I don't want to say soulmates in a romantic way, but I feel like they're they had a past life together and they just get each other. Um but I feel like this is only really gonna be a friendship. Hey guys, I'm sorry, my video camera cut out. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this reading, and I might make a second video on this just to do a more in-depth reading on both of them, because this was kind of just like a friendship uh, reading. But if you guys would like to see another video on either of these two people, you can just comment below. And if you guys would like a reading of your own, everything is in the description. Um, <clears throat> And I am also having a sale on the sprays. Like I said, everything is in the description. Bye.